it's your boy T-Bird and reactions. So about to react to some uh, digging the greats as well too. It's been a minute. I did some digging the greats as well too. So this one you about to say you about to do is call. It's all for uh, one of my favorite hip hop dudes of all time, who's one of my favorite act hip hop and rappers and actors of all time, who. Had a comeback little season after the little incident. That's not even Will Smith. And we're talking about DJ Judge and Jeff and Fresh Prince. And this is from Digging the Grace on how they made the ultimate summer song with a hit single, Summertime. So we're going to check. I want, I've want. i been trying to do some Digging the Grace for a minute. I had it on my list as well, too. Just trying to find time. It's been tough. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try my best to knock some of these off if I ever get a chance to. But other than that, we're gonna, I, did, I thought this one would be a cool one to jump onto right away. Uh, the other reason I've been hesitant on because they seem pretty long and it's upon a time as well too. But yeah, other than that, let's check out how Jazzy Jeff and Fresh Prince made the ultimate summer song. Let's get it. Today, we're diving into Summertime by DJ Jazzy Jeff and the Fresh Prince and looking at three specific things that all combine together to make the song the forever song of mm. the summer. Let's go. In 1991, DJ Jazzy Jeff and the Fresh Prince, a.k.a. Jeff Towns and Will Smith, Smith had already released a couple albums and had big successes with songs like Parents Just Don't Understand. Parents all the same, no matter time, no place. They don't understand that us kids are going to make summer. But the thing that would... I see you got the new mixer, that, mixer that, that takes advantage of uh, stems. Pell them to the next level was this little TV show called The Fresh Prince mm -hmm. of Bel-Air. Now this is a story all about how my life got flipped, turned upside down. We're not doing the whole song, we're not. The <laughs> show premiered in 1990 and is a monumental show. Will Smith is, of course, now... I mean, Will Smith. But this was a breakout moment for him. The thing is, this show filmed in LA, so he was away from his hometown of Philadelphia yep. for most of the year and into the next. And the thing about LA is, well, I mean, there are seasons, kind of, but it's sunny and warm most of the time. I live in LA. The first time I went to the Midwest in winter, I think I cried. Anyway, <laughs> the point is, Will Smith was in LA all year and had basically missed the changing of the seasons. He talked to Jazzy Jeff about it. He's missing his hometown, missing the temperature change and all the activities that come with it. Sure, he was off making a hit show and becoming a star, mm -hmm. but he was disconnected from the changing of the seasons. Mm -hmm. This is the first thing that would play a crucial part in this song. Mm -hmm. Will Smith missing Phil. And then something serendipitous happened. This is the second thing in the mix. Will Smith had flown to Chicago to meet with producers Hula and K Fingers to work on music together. As he was headed out the door back to the airport, they gave him one more track to check out. So he gets to the airport, but his flight is delayed. So he listens to the track they gave him, and he loves it. He then writes the words to Summertime in one pass, beginning to wow. end, goes back to the studio, lays down the vocal, and the rest is history. Mm. If Will Smith's flight out of Chicago had not gotten delayed, this song might never mm. have existed. But that's not all. There's more serendipitousness. The night before, Will had been out late and his voice was hoarse. His upper register wasn't oh. there, so his delivery was lower and smoother than previous that songs. That explains a lot as well, too. Um, why well, he's, he's lower than his usual song. As he explained, Absolutely, without question, I was trying to sound like Rakim. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right? Right. <laughs> Rakim was my favorite rapper. And mm -hmm. my voice, because I had been out partying all night, I couldn't get my, my higher voice. And the only way that I could get my voice out is I had to be down in there. So I was like, they hear me there. It's a group, mm -hmm. slight, train, bomb. Shout out to Charlie Mac, by the way. <laughs> but it was strictly because my voice was blown out. And then while I was doing it, I was like, oh, I sound like the R. <laughs> <laughs> This song is called Summertime yep. because it's about the things Will Smith was missing about summer in Philly. The reason why he said that because there was rumors that they thought Rock Hill might have wrote the rhymes for him and all that. So that's why he did it. So that explains a lot, though. He he unintentionally sound well. He that and that happens too when you're inspired by somebody you allies well too. You might find yourself sound like them in some some some. Form some kind of form in any way as well too. So ironically, because he uh he got hoarse, lost his voice a little bit, and he rapped low, 
in his mind, he thought of his favorite rapper, Brian Kim, as well, too, with the style. So that explains a lot, though. That's pretty awesome. So, yeah. But it also feels like summer. The sound of it, the groove, the chords, the sample. That's because producers Hula and K Fingers had sampled Cool and the Gang's mm. 1974 song, Summer Madness. Here's Summer Madness. Let's speed it up. And we're right there. And this song, Summer Madness, this song feels like summer. What does summer feel like? This is a feeling that musicians have been attempting to capture musically for centuries. Take Summertime by George Gershwin, originally from the musical Porgy and Bess from 1935, and since covered by many jazz singers. Oh, that song. Notice how this doesn't feel just pure happy. It's not a bunch of major chords. They're minor, but it's not quite sad. It's something else. Or, stay with me, a selection from this summer concerto in Vivaldi's Seasons from the early 1700s. Those minor chords? I don't know why I'm playing piano, they're strings. Again, minor chords, but not quite sad, mm -hmm. just a little more chill vibe. Mm -hmm. That might be the first time anyone's ever described Vivaldi as a chill vibe, but here's what I mean. I low-key thought, also thought that's probably an inspiration to the little, the little um, chords and some of the um, chords and strings in some of the songs in Summer Madness and Summertime as well, too. I was thinking, thinking that a little bit, but anyway. Let's now on. let's go back to Cool and the Gang's Summer Madness from 1974. The same elements are at play, same chill, Vivaldi vibe. Mm -hmm. Then this gets sampled and becomes summer. Like he's like with your mask, like you sitting now, let's drink it, enjoying a hot, a uh, nice cool lemonade, watching the sun, watching the sun, taking in the air, man. Feels good. Time, DJ Jazzy Jeff and the Fresh Prince, building on this vibe, and the ultimate song of the summer is cooking. You guys, I swear I don't plan these things. This just happened. Check this out. Okay, so here's that Vivaldi, right? Let's put them on pads. Ready? Yeah, I said I said that too. I said it. It's definitely made me think like they use some of that in that song too. I said just said that too, didn't I? That Chill Vivaldi vibe! You pair that with Will Smith missing Philly Summers, a delayed flight, and the rest is history. This song was a massive hit because it successfully captured the feeling of summer. Mm -hmm. Well, that and the fact that the music video premiered at the end of a Fresh Prince episode. Yep. But in the years since, it's cemented itself as a seasonal song. That was the thing he did for a while too, at this, like, while he did Fresh Prince show, he had like a new music video or song that he'll premiere, he'll premiere at the end of it. He did, that was, I think this was the first one he premiered on, on Fresh Prince, then he did, uh, uh, Ring My Bell was another one, and the only other one I think he did was uh, Boom Shake the Room. I don't think he did the uh, I Wanna Rock and Look for the One other than that, but, the, but those three was the main videos he would premiere on the Fresh Prince, so, at, at the episode of Fresh Prince, so yeah. Like, you're not gonna listen to this Christmas in July, mm -hmm. but as soon as the temperature starts heating up, it's time to play a song that has captured that feeling yes. of summer. The chill vibe of the season you know, Vivaldi. It makes you feel like relaxing and brings you into the long tradition of summer songs. It's a forever classic. Speaking of forever classics, I think it's interesting how songs like this or Take 93 Till Infinity by The Souls of Mischief, why they have such a long shelf life. In the case of summertime, it's tied up with a specific season. For 93 Till Infinity, well, that's in this video right here. Oh, okay. Cool. I wonder why he brought it up. He did, I did. I do have that saved in my playlist as well too. So this was a cool little breakdown for you from um from the guy from Digging the Great Stuff. I, never, I always forget his name though. But um, other than that, this was a cool video to check out. So um, if you like my reaction, like, share, subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's your boy T. Bursan and off one love.